Okay, we got to go back to the Brown Palace one last time because uh, we're celebrating the 130th anniversary of the historic downtown hotel and the the most famous guests yeah. ever, the and, Beatles. And you're a, yeah. you're a huge, huge fan. fan. Yes. I mean, what was this like <laughs> for you? Did you get chills going into oh, this room? Oh yeah, because like they only ever came once to Denver. Right. They played here once, played Red Rocks played one Red Rocks. time, <laughs> and as we find out, that day was absolute mayhem. <laughs> Okay, we are now on the eighth floor, making the way to where the Beatles famously stayed here. But before we get there, we should mention, uh, how did they get up here? Oh, they had to be smuggled in a service entrance and up the service elevator because the block was surrounded by five to 6,000 screaming teenagers. And they had to convert the atrium lobby into a first aid station for all the poor girls who got trampled or um, fainted. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is just sort of a, a collage of things that relate to the Beatles visit in 1964, including original Red Rocks tickets um, and a 45 of She Loves You, and then the picture of Ringo getting out of the limousine to come into the service elevator. This is it, everybody. It's changed a lot over the years, but it is nice to imagine that Paul McCartney, John Lennon, Ringo Starr, and George Harrison maybe were all hanging out in this suite. They're one time in Denver. Hey, Paul, it's me, John. I wrote a song. I want you to hear it. Oh, hey, John, it's me, Paul. I'd love to hear a song. Is it about? Is it about Denver, Colorado, perhaps? Yeah, no, it's actually about a submarine that's yellow. Hey, let's tell everyone what they're looking yeah, at. Yeah. It's like you have the greatest jukebox I have ever made. seen. Custom made for us, yep, Beatles at the Brown Palace. It plays more than 225 songs, everything the Beatles ever recorded, and you don't even have to put a quarter in it. I could stand here for a very, very, very long time. And actually, weirdly enough, uh, the Beatles at Red Rocks were trending last night. I don't know if you guys saw this on Twitter, but former Pro Bowl wide receiver Antonio Brown had this very wild rant on Twitter where he basically claimed that seeing him play was like, quote, watching the Beatles or Jesus oh. play at Red Rocks. Mm, okay. And for those wondering if Jesus ever played, uh, Red Rocks claimed uh, <laughs> that his set was Fuego. Okay. So there you go. Jesus yeah. did play Red Rocks. Wow. wow. Singing about submarines in Colorado. Yeah. Yes. Thanks, John yeah, Lennon. We will have idea. to wonder what the inspiration was. <laughs> like the accent, though. That yeah, that was, that was Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>